Finally, this week marked the official end of the CM Punk era in WWE. His contract is believed to have expired this past week. Uh, There's been some debate on exactly which day it was. Was it on uh, Tuesday? Was it on Thursday? Which would have been July 17th, the exact date uh, of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view back in 2011. There were a lot of rumors that he did not re-sign a deal with the company until the day of that show. It was backstage, so it would make sense if it was the 17th. Uh, And I remember reading at that time that he had extended his deal for three years, and those three years are up. They did not roll over his deal. He did not re-sign. He is gone. He is not going to be at Battleground tonight making a surprise appearance. I know there are still some punk fans out there holding out hope. Uh, When the hashtag thank you punk started trending on Twitter, he went on Twitter and posted a note that said, No thank you. Thanks for all the help and support through the years. Health and happiness above all. Don't ever take any shit from anybody. Uh, Good advice to live by, no matter what you do for a living, whether you're a wrestler or not. So I thought that in the spirit of uh, Punk's run coming to an end, I would go ahead and pen a column on five of his best matches in WWE, which is what I did. You can go up and uh, check the article out right now. It's up on PWMania.com. I've linked to it on my Twitter page. There's links to it up on Facebook. Uh, So you can head on over. It's one of the featured articles on the uh, right-hand side if you scroll down on PW Mania. It is a column listing five of CM Punk's best matches, his most memorable matches, including a couple I think that sometimes get overlooked. Uh, I did include the ECW title win over John Morrison back in 2007. I included a triple threat match with Alberto Del Rio and The Miz, two of my favorite wrestlers, as many of you know. Uh, But they actually had a kick-ass TLC match back in 2011 that I think gets forgotten about a lot. Uh, It was not the best TLC match of all time, but it was a damn good match. I think that people should go back and check out if you have the network. And, you know, some of the other matches you would expect. The match with Brian at Over the Limit in 2011. They had that great championship match. Punk and Brock at SummerSlam uh, two years ago, which I thought was the match of the year in WWE that year. We had Punk and John Cena. Money in the Bank 2011, one of my favorite all-time matches. It was just it was just magic. Everything from the crowd reaction, being in Chicago, uh, the stuff that was happening behind the scenes, some of which we knew about, some of which we didn't. Uh, the relatively clean, I can't call it a totally clean finish because there was a, you know, a distraction, I guess, from Vince and John Laurinaitis. But uh, for the most part, a clean pinfall win over John Cena. Those things are rare. And uh, Punk fleeing the arena through the crowd and putting the belt in his refrigerator. Uh, It's just an all-time classic. So uh, I talk a little bit about those matches and some other other points about Punk as well. So you can go on PWmania.com, check it out, leave some feedback, leave some comments, let me know what you think. And uh, all the best to CM Punk. Hopefully he's, uh, he's happy, he's stuffing his face with pizza and ice cream and going to hockey games and... I think he's going to be starting a podcast soon, so I guess I'll have some more competition. Competition's always good. So uh, best of luck to him.